$800 for a Fortnite gaming PC with modern components. Let's do this. In this video guys, we're going to talk about PC hardware components that I would suggest that you guys get if you're building a Fortnite gaming PC today at $800. Right now, we're going to focus on just the hardware components and break it down why I would pick these parts. So I'm going to be basing our selections from Amazon US. So if you're from a different region, Hopefully this guide will still give you a more or less an idea on what parts to get and the rationale behind the parts I'm suggesting. But before we start, please hit that like button guys. It really helps us a lot and it gives our video some exposure to the YouTube algorithm. And let's start. For our CPU, we are going to pick the Intel Core i3. 12100 it's about 146 dollars now there is a cheaper model the intel 12100f which is at 108 dollars but the problem is it's on the 4th of june so that's a few weeks away well a few months away but if you can't wait then this will be our option here the core i3 12100 the 12 gen has really good ipc so instructions work well compared to any other generation and for fortnite this is important for a gaming experience so the performance of the 12th gen CPU is just really important in this build because we are playing Fortnite with really low settings, competitive settings, performance mode and all that stuff. If you have the money, then you could go for this one, the 12400F, but that's just if you have the extra money. But otherwise, we'll just stay with a core i3-12100. Now, because we are using 12th generation Intel processors, Unfortunately, they come with really expensive motherboards. So the cheapest one that I could find is this one, the Gigabyte H16M S2H. So this is the only board I could find under $100. So that's about $89 for this one. And it's got that NVMe slot, so we can use that. It's just a basic motherboard, but we are trying to fit a budget here of $800 and this will do the job. Now, for our memory, for our RAM, we're going to pick the same RAM that what we have suggested on last time. So this is the Silicon Power Value Gaming RAM. More important thing here is that we've got 3200 megahertz of um, clock speed and then we got it on CL16. So it's um, yeah, CL16 memory and the 3200 megahertz of clock speed, which is pretty good, decent and um, it should run well for our CPU. Now, our NVMe will be the same as what we have recommended on our Warzone build. This is the cheapest 512 gigabyte NVMe that we could find at the time of recording. So this is the Silicon Power NVMe. So it comes with TLC and SSD. it's a TLC um, SSD. So it's quite decent. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but main thing is we got this one at a really good price at $46 and yeah this is the only reason why we're recommending this one um, it's cheap it has good capacity and it has those NVMe speeds if you really need it for our graphics card we only have one option and if you've been watching our channel I would always been recommending Nvidia cards well recently I've been recommending Nvidia cards if you are playing Fortnite um, as I've said before I don't know what an Epic Games has done to AMD cards but it seemed to not run very well and I know you guys have been reporting it so in our case we are picking the EVGA RTX 3050 now this comes at $379, unfortunately this is the most expensive part of our build and this is probably the reason why we will probably go through the $800 range but if you saw our community post um, a few days ago, I did post it up there that this one was at $329 and I'm, I'm hoping anyone who saw that was able to buy that card at that price. So when I got that, Holy when I saw that, shit. I was like, oh, I better share this to everyone. At least you guys will be able to get that one. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe guys so that you won't miss out. If I see any deals, I will post it up there so you guys could buy stuff. So we don't have any other option for a video card here. This is probably the card that we will get. That's a modern card i can recommend the 1660 cards but main thing is i want you guys because you're buying a new system you might as well get the latest generation of graphics card 
Now for our power supply, we'll probably be using the same thing as what we have used on our Warzone PC build. So what I'm recommending at this time is the Antic Bronze Power Supply, the CSK 550 watts 80 plus bronze power supply. Um, so it's only at $40, but this is a pretty solid brand. Antic is a solid brand, so this is why I'm recommending this um, power supply. And the other option that we have over here, um, yes, we only have like 15 stock left for this one. So if you're watching this video, just buy this one right now. Our next option would be this one here, our Cooler Master MWE White 450, 80 plus white. Now I know this is only about 450 watts rated, but it can easily go through 450 watts and even go through 500 plus and just work fine. So this is our second option if this one runs out. So the Antic Bronze, Antic CSK 550 watts is $40. Then that runs out. This is fine, right? So Color Master MWD 450 80 plus white. That's fine. It's only $36. For our case, we are going to pick the Raid Max I203. So unfortunately, this is the only one I could find, which is looks decent. So it comes with two fans. Unfortunately, they're static RGB fans, so it's not like a RGB, but at least we've got like a couple of fans there, and it's got that like power supply shroud. And it's got all, um, you know, decent airflow. It's got that intake and there's like output. So that's fine. That main thing is only cost about $58. It comes with free delivery as well. So unfortunately, there's only three stocks left. So if you're watching this one, just buy this one, guys. And that brings our total to $815. So we tried to fit it at the $800 budget, but unfortunately, we didn't get the the RTX 3050 at that lower price. So if you did get that one at the lower price, when I posted the one in the community tab, we would be able to drop this down below 800. But at this time, this is about $815, which is still a decent price. And it can run Fortnite and it got that 12th gen Intel speeds, which is really good. Um, it will perform really good in Fortnite because Fortnite is not, as you know, it's not really graphic intensive. It's more on reliant on your CPU, and of course, if it's more reliant, any games is more reliant on CPU, will also be reliant on your RAM. So these are the, the parts I could find that will fit your budget. So it's about $815. You probably add about $10 on this one for um you know for your Windows 10 key or Windows 11 keys. Doesn't matter which whichever. I'll probably just stick with Windows 10 for now. But that's it, $815 guys, and this is a pretty good deal. So it's better than what you would see pre built And that's it for our video guys, pretty straightforward. 800 plus Fortnite PC that will give you really good performance. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button guys. It's really helpful. It gives our video some exposure to everyone. And if you missed out our $800 Warzone PC build, click this video right here. And I'll see you guys over there.